my my mother used to always say go be useful and uh, she was saying go be useful because she wanted me to do more cleaning around the house uh, and wanted me to get out of her hair uh, but as I got older go be useful meant go change things um, make sure that your life is a benefit not a detriment to the world and go be useful became uh, leaving the world better than I found it. So my greatest hope in this world is that because I existed, things are better. And with the skill set that I have right now in my life, I feel like teaching is the best place where I can, as my mother puts it, go be useful. Mac Promini is an award-winning teacher and debate coach who has impacted so many people from teachers to students here at Manhattan High School. Clancy Livingston, an MHS science teacher, has taught next to Mr. Promini and sees the interactions he's had with students. It's just been such an amazing thing to watch him work with students and, you know, I know his, he's very big on showing them opportunities and showing them things that are out there and trying to get them to broaden their horizons. And it's just been so amazing to see him do that and to get to have an opportunity, even when I can just step into his class for a few minutes and watch, just to see the variety of things that he does and the way that he tries to get them talking to each other and thinking. I mean, he's really teaching them to be conscientious adults, and I just, I, it's, I think it's amazing what all he does with them. Kate Ward and Allie Cloyd are two seniors who Mac has taught over the past four years and are here to expand on how he has impacted them as students. Mr. Promini has, you know, taught me a lot about leadership with the way that he teaches, but primarily the way he coaches um, and has created such a great team culture on the debate and forensics team here. His leadership is not defined by him, you know, ordering a bunch of students around and telling them what to do. He really like we talked about, makes people feel comfortable on the team and makes them feel valued, but then empowers them to become leaders in their own right. So Promini just makes so many opportunities available for you to get involved and for you to change things and lead that so long as you want to or you're willing to take up those opportunities, they're there for you and you're going to be so well supported if you decide to really go out there and be a part of things. Clearly, Mr. Promini has a great impact on students here. Here is his explanation of how. Um, they gotta like me a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I think relationships, it sounds cheesy, but relationships come first. Uh, content is super secondary. I don't think there's always anything immediately appealing to the masses and the student body uh, when it comes to like content. It, it's Content will always be secondary, and content is more digestible if it comes from a person that you like or that you genuinely feel like cares about you. Uh, we earn the right to have high rigor and content intense classes when we as teachers build relationships and bridges founded off of like genuine care for our students that they see and that we can identify and point to as like, yeah, I do genuinely care and here's all the evidence of that. Man. Uh, there's, a, there's a story that builds up to that. So uh, I wasn't sure that I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I was kind of in this limbo state when I was in high school of, you know, what am I gonna do for the rest of my life? Uh, there was a very brief period where I wanted to go into law, but that felt like the, the good Asian son thing to say to everyone and the one that seemed to evoke the most pride when it came to uh, you know, the, the question that all of us get when we're in our, our teen years, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, but my junior year of high school, I went to the National Speech and Debate Tournament and I saw a student from MHS on the national final stage. Her name was Linda Pei. And uh, I realized that something about MHS was, was working. Uh, there were some talented people there and my junior year of high school, I concluded I needed to learn from whoever was coaching at MHS. Uh, Mr. Sean Rafferty was the coach of Linda Pay. So I, at that moment, figured out that MHS was home to K-State. I realized that uh, my head coach was from Manhattan or went to K-State at least, and it all kind of came together and I, I've had a love affair with Manhattan High ever since I was a junior in high school where 
when I went to K-State, I just started pestering people at Manhattan High to let me sit on their classes, and that's how I got in touch with Crystal Kleiner. Uh, she turned me down every year for about two years straight. I emailed her every semester and said, hey, let me learn from you, let me grade your papers, let me sit in the back of your classroom, let me buy you a cup of coffee. She said, nope, no thanks, nuh-uh, nope, against these rules. Uh, but eventually she said, stop bugging me, I'm leaving coaching, uh, come take my job. And I was like, sure, sure, <laughs> sounds good to me. Uh, so MHS has been very good to me, uh, both from afar and working here, and it's been a dream job for a very long time. Yeah, uh, so I'm moving to Blue Valley uh, High School. I'll be the head speech and debate coach down there. Um, my The position I'm taking is the head coaching position that was occupied by my coach's coach. Uh, so a old mentor of mine is stepping down uh, after 30 some odd years as head coach and he is uh, passing off his program to me, which is a, a fantastic honor, but um, I'm really moving at this point to the Kansas City area to be closer with my parents and friends and family. Parents are getting a little older and want to make sure I can be present for them, take care of them, and I've got a, a little niece that I guess might benefit from being closer to Uncle Mackie. Mr. Promley's student-focused teaching style has clearly had a great effect on MHS. Thank you to Mac Promany, Clancy Livingston, Allie Cloyd, and Kate Ward for your awesome interviews. Music by Pum Pup the Mind from Pixabay. This was Eli Porter for Manhattan Mention. Thanks for listening.